Hello, it's Weedy Wednesday, and um, I just wanted to do my typical disclaimer. I am not a medical professional, and you should consult your doctor if you have any ailments that you're not, you know, sure about. And um, use caution and do lots of research using herbs. Some of them can be quite uh, adversely affecting your body if you take them or take too many or too many together or too, for too long. So you need to do some research and um, this is just for informational and entertainment purposes and I hope you enjoy it. This week we did um, celandine, I think is how you pronounce it. And um, you know, I learned some interesting stuff. I didn't, never knew that you could use it magically as well as medicinally. So um, yeah. So come along with us and we'll visit Celandine. Here I have Celandine. I'm out in the yard and found Celandine today. They're very easy to recognize. This is what the leaf looks like. And they have little hairs on the stems. It's usually three bunches to a, a cluster. And they look a little like oak leaves. But the telltale sign, and I always wait for this to happen, is for when the pods come on and the little yellow flowers. That's my easiest way to identify anything is from the seed pods and the flowers. That way you, you definitely know you've got the right plant. So I brought some in to dry for the year. And the infusion causes perspiration, which is good in fevers, uh, a light infusion. Uh, eczema, skin conditions, liver and gallbladder complaints. You can use um, like a wine glass full, um, probably two times a day until the complaint goes away. Um, not to exceed a week, though. And the fresh orange juice can be applied directly to wound, uh, to uh, warts and corns and things like that. If you look inside, it's like a bright yellow, a bright orangey yellow. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But this is the, the oil that will um, help dissolve the wart or the uh, corn. So... You can make an ointment from oil and beeswax and apply it to uh, in the root of this. I just harvested the plant, but if you take the root and an oil, like a carrier oil, olive or almond or uh, even hemp seed oil, um, you can cook that down, add some beeswax, make an ointment, and it's good for hemorrhoids. And then magically, the Celandine encourages victory in all matters of state. So it could be a court case, or um, if you just, you know, got a lawsuit going or whatever, it encourages you to have the victory. And it soothes depression and brings happiness when worn. So I don't know, maybe a, a little bouquet of it, and you could wear it in your bra or whatever. <laughs> And some sources say when it's dried and put into a dream pillow that it encourages prophetic dreams. So I have never added this to a dream pillow, but that's what some of the sources I was reading say. So we will pick this apart and put it on the dehydrator. Again, thanks for watching Weedy Wednesday. We'll find, Duncan and I will find something else to bring you next week and uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope it opens up your repertoire of things to bring to the dinner table and into your medicine cabinet and also your magical cabinet so blessed be